For 2020, the folks over at HHA Sports have re-released their Tetra line of sights and expanded the line to include a couple of new models. You have the original Tetra, the Tetra Max, which is the replacement for the Kingpin, and the new Tetra LT, which is a slider sight. Now today we're looking at a standard Tetra frame with the all-new four-pin front-end housing uh, for this year. Now, if you guys are familiar with HHA Sports, you know that they are the leader in single-pin adjustable sight technology, and they have been for many, many years. In fact, that's what I shoot primarily on my bow. This is my hunting rig from last year. It's got a Tetra on it. You can see I'm shooting a single-pin 19,000s. Now, there is a demand out there for guys that want a multi-pin adjustable sight. And uh, a lot of times we ask ourselves, well, if you've got multiple pins, why do you need an adjustable sight? The best scenario I can give you is in a site like this, you can have your pins, this is a four pin configuration, you can have this set statically to something like 20, 30, 40, and 50 yards, and then you can use your adjustment if you need to shoot beyond 50 yards. So if you need to shoot 60, 70, 80, 90, whether it be in a hunting situation or just on the range, you now have the ability to go ahead and adjust this site to get those longer distances. But if you want a multi-pin that's fixed for most of your hunting applications, this is a great option for you. So I'm going to run you through some of the features uh, that are universal to all sites in the Tetra line, and then I'm going to talk you through uh, a little bit about the new four-pin model. One of the first things to note about all HHA products is they're 100% made right here in the USA in the state of Wisconsin, and they're backed by one of the best no-hassle warranties in the business. If you have an HHA product and something goes wrong with it, they're gonna stand behind it and they're gonna take care of you, which to me is a big selling point for any product that I'm buying and carrying out into the field with me. So beyond that, when we look at the Tetra, we see uh, that it's got it's an adjustable sight obviously the adjustment gears are made from brass in these hha sites which ensures very smooth operation and it ensures that they don't wear out over time so you don't have to worry about the more i move this thing up and down about it getting sloppy at any point in time uh, i've had some of these sites for many years that i've adjusted a lot and they're just as uh, precise today as they were when I got them. So that's a big feature, you know, on any product. You want to make sure that it's going to last because it is a big investment. Now, with these Tetra sites, one thing that's different on them from the prior generations of optimizer sites is going to be the infinite adjust front end on these scopes. If you remember back to some of the older sites, the scope was mounted into the adjustable housing using two screws, but if you needed to adjust this up or down, you actually had to remove the scope from the housing and then bolt it back on at a different level. And it was kind of a pain. They've taken care of that problem, so now you still have the same two screws here, but all you need to do is loosen them up and then they actually slide within this track. So you can adjust the, the vertical elevation of this site without actually removing the scope, which you weren't able to do on previous versions. On the side here, we've got laser etch markings so you can tell exactly where you've moved it. Once you get it to the point that you want it, you simply lock down these two screws and you're good to go. Another point to note is this bottom screw here, when you loosen this up, does allow you to tilt uh, the sight side to side here, which is going to be actually your second axis adjustment. So that's going to be done using this screw at the bottom. There's a small channel or that hole is a little bit bigger there to allow you to get, and ultimately what that's allowing you to do is to level your, your sight bubble out. So once you get the sight where you want it, you go ahead and lock it down. The other difference on the Tetra sites is going to be the gang adjustment on the front end of the scope housing. Now, the Tetra 4 pin does not have a toolless uh, gang adjustment left to right. You do need to loosen this Allen screw right here, whereas on the standard uh, single pin Tetras, they do have a toolless adjustment where it does not require an Allen key. So that is a difference between the single pin and the multi pin housing. Uh, I have this loosened up right now so that you could see I'm able to gang adjust the uh, the site housing for my windage uh, and then once I get it where I want I can lock it down and I also have a micro adjust here where I can fine tune so you're going to use the large gang adjustments for you know really that initial site in period where you're like oh shoot I'm, I'm a foot off I need to move a couple large adjustments this way you're going to lock it down and then you're going to use the micro adjust in and out to fine tune the site get it where you want and then lock everything down and it's not going to move on you uh, next, we're going to take a look at uh, a feature of the HHA sites that I think a lot of people may overlook, and that's going to be the adjustable rheostat. And what that means is this rheostat right here actually slides 
you can see it, it slides over the housing to either cover up or reveal the fibers that are in here. Now these fibers are absorbing ambient light from outside and they're directing it into these pins and that's what makes the pins bright. But if you get yourself in a situation where you're outside on a bright sunny day, let's say you're out west on an antelope hunt in August and it's 95 degrees and the sun's blaring on you and there's too much light getting into your pins and it's causing them to glow too brightly, you can adjust this rheostat to cover up those fibers and actually dim those pins down a little bit so it's easier to shoot. That's a feature that HHA has had for a long time and I think a lot of people overlook the importance of it uh, and the benefit to the bow hunter. Now when we look at the multiple pin configuration, you can see we've got four individual pins. They're all individually adjustable. You've got laser marked uh, etchings here on the outside so you can tell exactly uh, where you need to move those pins and then you just simply lock them down. It's a very simple system. Uh, we've got four. This is a 19 thousandths version right here. So we alternate between green and red pins on the inside of that. Now, as you guys are looking at the inside of the scope housing, the last thing we want to talk about on this particular site is going to be the adjustment this year on the scope ring. You can see this is the previous version. You can see that it is considerably uh, smaller in size. This was actually, I believe, a sticker on the inside, whereas this is a plastic ring. It is much larger, easier to pick up, easier to index within your peep site. Uh, so just a little bit of an added benefit, new feature for this year. And then what they've also done is they've integrated the level right into this ring, whereas on the old sites, the level was glued into the site housing. So just an update on the leveling system as well as the new uh, larger site ring on the inside there. So again, guys, this is the new Tetra four pin site from HHA. It's obviously available both in a multiple pin as well as a single pin configuration. If you're interested in learning more, you can check out their website. It's hhasports.com. These sites are shipping to dealers very, very shortly. So if you're in the market, make sure you uh, consult with your local dealers, get one on order, and uh, I think you're going to like it.